Today I've got a collection of four odd items from Amazon. Now normally when I do a collection like this, they're kind of in groups. I might do can openers or pizza cutters, but today there's no real semblance of any kind of similarities between these. There's just four random items from Amazon that I thought were weird that I wanted to test out. I guess there's nothing really else to say, so let's jump right into it. This is the right cup. Now this has been around for about five years. It started off in Indiegogo. It's a scented flavored cup that you add water to it and it supposedly tricks your brain into thinking you're drinking something besides water. I've seen a few reviews for this, not all of them very good. But this is something I wanted to try out and see if I can get to the bottom of it because one thing I've noticed is a lot of reviewers use it once, say it doesn't work, but they say to use it for a while and kind of get used to it. They have different flavors. This is the mixed berry. I figured this is probably the easiest one for them to not mess up. Some people were saying the cola one tasted and smelled like bad chemicals, which that doesn't sound very appealing. Berry's got to be easy, right? Some of the initial negatives are that, first of all, it's a $25 cup, and it only supposedly lasts about six months. So, I don't know. That's already two strikes against it. It looks like a sippy cup. That's what it looks like. There it is. Well, when I opened the packaging, there was kind of a berry smell. <laughs> Maybe I should have rinsed it off first. That was kind of a strong kind of berry smell. It's kind of interesting because it's kind of a clear outer shell to it. I'll rinse this off. They say to only use cool or room temperature water, not hot water, stored upside down or the taste can kind of go away. So those of you out there that like your hot water, you're out of luck. The first glass of the right cup. Now they say you're supposed to inhale from your nose while you're drinking out of it so you can smell the smell on there. To supposedly trick your brain into thinking you're drinking some sort of a berry flavor water. Let's see. Hmm. Well, my brain isn't so easily fooled. My nose smells berry, but my tongue tastes water. I don't even really taste it on the cup. Well, maybe I do. I don't know. I guess if I kind of like taste the rim, maybe I taste something. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna reserve judgment for now. My first test, I'm not overly blown away by it, but I'm gonna keep using it and maybe it'll win me over and I'll have this amazing $25 berry flavored cup for the next six months to increase my water intake. This is for the second item. Before I get to that though, I wanted to give you a quick update on the right cup. I guess the good news is that I'm actually drinking more water because I keep trying to use this. They say to use it five times a day for a couple weeks. I'm trying to use it five times a day at least. So I am drinking more water. So that's, <laughs> that's a good thing. Um, that's about as far as the good goes though. There's kind of this overpowering scent you know like i know there it's supposed to have a scent to it so that it fools your brain into thinking you're drinking something besides just water which number one my brain isn't fooled and number two that smell kind of permeates everything like when i had to sit out in the kitchen it smelled like there was this kind of sickly sweet berry scented candle in there that wasn't very appealing just now when i had it in my car and i went into walmart and came back out my whole car smells like it. It's not even really that appealing. The more I smell it, the less I like it. Now I have to hold it right up to my face to smell it when I'm drinking, which is even worse. I'm just not a fan. Now there is a, there is a taste. There is a taste to the right cup. I just don't really like it that much. It kind of has this like children's plastic berry flavored taste to it. Not, not great. I'm, I'm really trying. I'm really trying. I'm not. I'll keep trying. But that takes us to the second item now. These were recommended by my loyal follower friend, Lisette, who suggested these on Twitter. Curiously, these are marketed two completely different ways on Amazon. The packaging looks almost the same, but the wording is different. In one version of the packaging, they're called thermal finger guards. In another version of the packaging, they're called chip fingers. So I'm going to try them as chip fingers, where it supposedly keeps the uh, residue from certain types of chips off your fingers. I guess people who are kind of OCD about that might covet something like this. For the rest of us, it kind of, seems kind of pointless. But I've got several bags of chips here. I'm going to try them right now. And I'm going to wash it down with my 
right cup. Now when it's called chip fingers, they seem to show Cheetos, the puff variant, as one of the chips to try out. Let me don my chip fingers and give it a shot. Now all three of these are the same size, there's three per package. Just kind of slide it, slide it on there like that. I'm going to use my both hands as a control. I'll try a little bit of each chip. In fact, I'm going to open up all of them right now. I got my favorite, old school, regular Doritos. Ah, smells like summer to me. And then, I, these are really messy, the flaming Hot Cheetos. All right, so I'm going to tear into these with both hands and see how they look. I have to be careful just to use three fingers because I'm, I'm used to grabbing a whole bunch of them. So I'm gonna use just three fingers. Nom, nom. Nom, nom. I think I need to do a second round just to be safe on this here. Round two. Round two of the right cup. Mmm, tastes like water. All right, let's take a look at the actual fingers now and see what we got. All right, the control fingers are right here. Okay, these didn't touch any chips. These did. So definitely got chip residue on them. Now, you can't really see if there's much on these. I don't think there is. And let me take these off. I'm not sure if it's a good idea or not. I'm not sure if people are going to want this, but it did work. It actually worked. These fingers are nice and clean and these are not. Now, some people might think that the the chip residue on your fingers is part of the fun. I, I kind of tend to agree with that, but, but there's people out there that can't stand it. And this would be a great idea for you. And they only have three in the package. So I kind of wish there was five because that way you can put your whole hand in there. But who am I? I'm not an expert in China making these. I'm just a YouTuber in Las Vegas. And I tell you, man, every time I have to smell that smell, that smell gets worse every time I put that cup in my mouth. All right, so I'm going to go back home and work on the next item. Ugh. This is the click chair. It's not even part of this video. I reviewed it back in December. It's a portable chair that's supposed to be easy to set up, easy to take down, lightweight. But it was my second choice for a chair in that video. The one I wanted to do is what I'm doing today. And that is this generic retractable stool. There's several of these being sold online. Excuse me, Bailey. And they are also portable, lightweight, adjustable. I've seen, uh, I've seen quite a few vendors selling these. I couldn't get one back in December, but I got one now. Also, another feature of this one is that it doesn't dig into the sand like, uh, like some chairs do. Let's try it out. This was 89 bucks. Very expensive. This one, uh, I can't remember how much I paid for it. I'll put it right there, but not as expensive. Hey, man, mine's green, not red. Were you supposed to put your fingers in these holes and pull? Whoa. Oh, I see it. It, it kind of twist locks. Oh, Bailey's curious. She's very curious about this. Is that all it takes? Yep, that's a stool, all right. Yeah, yep. It feels sturdy. I think it can hold 300 pounds. Huh. Oh, also, it did not leave any kind of indention in the sand. Wow, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised. Oh, wow. Also with this one, you can adjust it different heights. I think, yeah. It's just a matter of twisting it and locking it in place when you get the height you want. So this is the secret right here, all these little hooks. And then when you twist it, It's, it, it's almost fun to play with. 
Yeah. But this is not a toy. This is not a toy. Do not play with this. I'm only weigh about 170 pounds. If it can hold 330, it should definitely hold me. I hope I don't hurt myself. Whoa. It's not falling over. Wow. First impression is actually uh, is actually pretty good. Number one, it was very simple to set up. Number two, it worked as advertised. Number three, it seems like it's pretty sturdy. I'm gonna go do some tests on this thing and come back and check on you and let you know how it's doing. So far, initial test, I like it. Someone put some graffiti in the side of this wall. So overall, I think I'm pretty happy with it. It's lightweight, it works as advertised, it's pretty good. Now let's ignore for the fact that there's actually someone standing here with a whiteboard behind me. Let's just pretend that it's on an easel actually, that make it easier for this next one. The final one I'm going to be doing here, and that's the Rocket Book Beacons. That's right, look at these. Now if you saw my Rocket Book video recently, it's kind of a high-tech notebook that you can scan your images up to the cloud automatically. The beacons work the same way, but with a whiteboard. I have a pre-drawn whiteboard here. I'm going to put one of these in each corner and show you how it works. All right, as you can see, I've got one in each corner. Now the magic comes when you open up the Rocket Book app. All right, so I'm gonna hit new scan, and it's gonna look for those four corners. Let's see what happens. All right, it's looking for the, it's looking for the whiteboard right now. Oh, I just found it, see that? Automatically found it. Boom, saved, and there it is. Very cool. Let me try a fresh one. Oh, the creation has been destroyed. Well, that's a horrible straight line. All right, I've got my beautiful Bitcoin chart right here. I put a lot of time into it. Now let's try this again. Ah, I found it. Boom. Also, there's another feature here called Snapcast, I believe, where you can actually broadcast it live. I give you a URL for it. So I think these Rocket Book beacons work pretty much like they advertise them as. And it's, it, what's weird is that the material isn't really sticky, but it, it sticks anyways. They say it uses micro suction. I don't know. I'm, whatever that is, it works pretty well. I'm kind of a fan of Rocket Book and the Rocket Book beacons. I don't use whiteboard too often, but if you do, this might be something for you. If not, I want to check out the Rocket Book itself from a previous video of mine, which I'll link below, and you can see how it works there. But you know what I think? I think it's time to wrap this thing up. All right, so that's all I've got. Let me rate these real quick here. I'd say the right cup, I'm probably the wrong person for the right cup. I think that it does work as far as the scent goes, as far as the taste goes. It just never really made water taste like anything but water to me. I'm gonna give the right cup a three and a half. Now, as far as these chip fingers goes, I'm not real sure about this either. I mean, I think there will be some people out there that really like these. They've obviously been repurposed as finger protectors for using hot items, but otherwise I think that if you, if you don't like the idea of getting chip residue on your fingers, these are great. Otherwise, they're kind of no point. I'll give these a solid six. As far as the retractable folding stool goes, that one works really well. If you like the way it looks in the ads, you'll probably be happy with it. I'm gonna give that one a solid eight. And finally, the Rocket Book Beacons. It's kind of a situational thing. I don't think everybody uses whiteboard that often, but if you do, they work quite well. The notebook has a little bit of a wider appeal. I'm gonna say the Beacons, just because the lower appeal, I'm gonna give it about a seven. Have you guys used any of these products? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures, videos as I go. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.